And one of the areas hardest hit by today's round of storms was Berks County. Thousands are without power in the county tonight, according to First Energy. And a flash flood forced dozens of people in Redding from their homes. The water made Exeter Road near Howard Avenue look like a river, and all people in the neighborhood could do was watch. Numerous roads were shut down. Video from a pin dot traffic camera shows cars stuck in high water on Route 222. Entire neighborhoods in Reading have been impacted, including this section of Heidelberg Avenue. Now the basement's flooded, and my neighbor's is flooded, and the first floor is flooded. The neighbor next to them is flooded. It just flash flooded. Really, really fast from all this rainfall. Some residents of the Jamestown Village apartments will have to spend the night in a shelter. Two of the buildings there were evacuated. The Red Cross is at Glenside Elementary School to help them. People there describe the scene to us tonight. Inside my um, windows from my back room, I had to take everything because it was gushing water down like if it was a faucet. Now it's flooded, completely flooded. All my stuff is. Just floating around. My fan, everything is floating. I lost everything. Everything is total loss. The Red Cross says 40 people and five pets will spend the night here. This is a shelter that's open for anyone in this in this community that needs shelter for this evening. It's scary just to go through it. I don't know when I'm going to be able to go back home. This shelter, oh my God, this is a blessing that they put us here tonight. <laughs> Elsewhere in Berks County, the Antietam Creek spilled over its banks and onto Ole Line Road in Douglasville, just outside of Redding. The flooding almost reached people's mailboxes. There were multiple reports of water rescues in that area. The driver of this car was forced to turn around to avoid the deep water. Others weren't as lucky. The entire front end of this car was submerged in deep water on Lime Kiln Road in Lime Kiln. But at this point, we have not received any reports of anyone being hurt.